versus Gluttony. All right, so Gluttony coming in, um, best player from Europe, best Wario in the world. Uh, just in case you didn't know in the chat. Training partner of MK Leo. Yeah, yeah, really good friends with Leo, even though they're like not even from the same country or live in the same country at that. Yeah. And of course, Wadi hailing from the MDVA area. Um, it, I want to say like the best solo Rob. Zach Ray's Rob is probably I better I than Wadi's. I feel like Wadi's he's not even solo Rob anymore, though. Like we're starting to see some counterpicks come out from Wadi. One of the best Robs in the world. One of the best Robs in the world for sure. And you know what? Not only is he one of the best Robs in the world, but like I got to see this man yesterday, and the way that he was playing was phenomenal. Like oh, he yeah. was looking like the old Wadi. This was like the, the 2017 Wadi. Wadi. All right, all right. That's the, what the I Wadi that was taking sets from yes, zero. The, taking sets from zero, putting names on the board, taking all sorts of money, and guess what? Getting all the honeys as well. Yeah, and. Now, up here against uh, Gluttony gets a very solid lead, but we all know what a lead means against Wario. Oh. Kind of nothing. <laughs> there is the waft. Wario has that comeback mechanic built into him as a character here. But can Wadi get, like, if you can get the stock lead, you're pretty safe. Mm -hmm. But, like, percentage leads, uh, too crazy. Yeah, it's really just about, like, how, what positioning, what tools you're going to have to utilize to take the stock. That's all this percent means in this case. And Wario is packing some weight as well. So, I mean, both these characters are pretty heavy, but. You know, Wario a little a little uh, smaller in terms of hitboxes I mean, or hurt boxes. And the thing is, like, they both have their tools to set up into their kills. So they both can convert off down tilt. They can both do an uh, insane amount of damage with their aerials. One's more for spacing, one's more for combo base. Ooh, I like the mix-up coming at. So usually you go into the down tilt into the dash attack there, but Gluto mixing him up there, going for the grab. Now with the top control, we've seen Gluto use the uh, the neutral B bite to eat the top, but that up air will take him off the top. Really good stuff. Wadi going to take the lead. That's right. And of course, with this timer that continues to count down, so it's going to put Gluten closer and closer to having a full waft. Not to mention eating of those gyros. Not only does it restore a little bit of health, but gives him a little bit of, a little bit of gas in the tank too. Right, right. So every time he eats an item, uh, he gets one second off the wall, or like you get one second closer to the wall. So we're, we're going to see full waft available here. Usually you want to use half, like half waft is better than full waft just because it comes out faster so it's easier to confirm into. But the full waft does have like armor and some other attributes. But yeah, here's the there full waft online. So now Wadi just taking a step back, kind of slowing the thing, slowing things down. Oh, oh, oh the blender? No. Oh, okay, gets the shield up, gluten not not getting uh, stuck between a gyro and a rob. And if it looks like Wadi is like super respecting Gluttony, it's because he has to. <laughs> he oh. is at kill percent right now. <laughs> if he gets one waft conversion, that could be it. And that's insane. Like, Rob is at kill percent. Okay, push him into Gyro. Just push him. Oh, man, he did not get the conversion off the top bounce. All right, man. So Wadi still in control here, but can he finish the stock off? That is the question. Okay, forced to use the bike or else the laser would have connected. I would have put... Oh, Ooh, up till into, into Waft. Remember I said he was at kill hey, percent? He was at kill percent. Yeah, How'd you know that, Korean? 50%, bro. <laughs> All right, so just like that, you guys thought Wadi was winning, <laughs> but little yeah, did you numbers know. Numbers mean nothing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but now Gluto with the lead. Let's see if we can get some damage in. Up smash. No, the mash out is very quick. And the buffer air dodge on top of it. But the side B will close it out here, and we have equalized this last stock. And that was really important to get the down throw and really see which way that Gluttony was going to try and recover. He was going to mass. He was going to try and you know, get a directional air dodge and wait out. Uh, because he didn't have access to the bike. So if he did pop up, uh, Wadi was going to, you know, that's one less tool for him to escape Wadi traps. Oh, Gluto, please. Mercy. 49% off of one conversion here. Even having Nair combo break Wadi. Yeah. Oh. Nair is a quick, quick move. I mean, Yo. no half waft online, but Gluto will uh, clap it up. Lots of damage already. 87 here on Wadi for this third stock. Okay, and that's you know I was Whoa. actually wondering is if Wadi does get a grab, he's gonna go for the back throw. He's only oh well, Gluttony is only around 70%, but guess what? You get those spinny arms at the side. That's Their awesome. Half waft is just that wasn't even a half waft, it was like kind of a small waft, but it was just enough to take take out Wadi. And the, the waft confirms are gonna have such a large range on Rob just because he's really big. He's a little on the heavier side, right? right. So you even get a landing up here at like 80, 90%, you still can get converted into that waft just like that. And Gluttony gonna take game number one. 
Yeah, I'm already thinking long and hard. It's, I mean, again, I don't think it's really about stage or, or vans or if, what character I should be picking. All that nonsense. He's, yeah, he's just focused in, on thinking of what the adjustment is going to be. What? I was wrong. He does want to bring out the, the Wii Fit. All right, so Wadi. Uh, Deep breathing, baby. Yeah, Wii Fit is definitely a character that you don't see too often, right? And uh, Wadi, Wadi loves those charge specials, man. You charge the top, charge the Shadow Ball Mewtwo, charge the Sun Salutation. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is that move? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, big energy ball. <laughs> so Wadi started picking up Wii Fit after Wii Fit got buffed quite a while back, mm -hmm. um, like towards the beginning of the year, early Ultimate. Wii and Fit I, got buffed. So. I just love how like everyone was just talking about trash on like SoCal because Wadi came over here and just started destroying people with, with Wii Fit. Like, ha, this character isn't even real. Like, well, guess what? Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> this character's really good, yeah. I mean, definitely not like a, a top 10 or top 15 character, but they're so, like, Ultimate's just so balanced that there's a lot of characters you have to respect regardless. Mm -hmm. Wii Fit has an incredible, uh, pretty much has the old, like, even kind of better limit, uh, you know what I mean, with deep breathing. He right after activate it whenever he wants to. Right, and it heals you for a little bit. Not only that, um, the knockback on your moves are increased, so it's like, Weave it just hits a lot harder. And, and I believe you take less damage. Yeah, and you take less damage, yes. And Weave it has an incredibly fast back air out of shield. So <laughs> deep breathing back air, or just even like forward tilt at the edge to like cover normal getup, it's very, very strong. Well, I think I'm pretty sure Glutiny is aware of the back air because if you continue to see the position, really analyze the way Glutiny is like playing around Wadi. He's making sure that he's always staying in front of him. Yes. And look at this, Wadi going to get so much damage, 42% off of those two moves, just the neutral B charge and the dash attack, wow. Stalling with the volleyball. Oh, but wow. drifting right back in, trying to land in there Don't onto Glutney to get the combo starter. He went into the light there, bro. Oh, he did. <laughs> he saw the charge and he thought he was like landing outside of range of it, or maybe he was trying to like land and pop the shield up, but Glutney with the timing on deck. Okay, there's a back air we see connecting. You know what? That up air is ridiculous, too. It covers a lot more space than it looks like, especially because Wii Fit is just kind of stretching its arms. Yeah. Yeah, right now, Wadi is definitely hitting Glutiny with the, I, I, I hope, I bet you don't know this matchup. Mm -hmm. This might be just like, let me get this one game to put myself on the board, get my momentum started, and I'm going back to Rob. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's a very common thing you see in Ultimate in general, right? With the With the... The cast being so large and the game being so balanced, because everything is universal, like jump squad and all that stuff, yes. you can really just counterpick someone. And <laughs> like, if they just don't know the matchup, they're done. Or like, at, like you at least get like a game and some momentum on your side. Yeah, you get some game, you get some momentum. If you you really do the one and done strat, you honestly give your opponent like little to no information for the next game. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, well, I'm picking another character now. Good luck. <laughs> and I'm back to Rob. <laughs> yep. So everything you thought you were learning about Wii Fit, uh, I'm, I'm actually done with that. I just I wanted the game. But I mean, we might see Wadi stick out with the Wii Fit for the rest of the set. It's working out so well right it now. It is working out really well. Uh, we did see a back air uh, connect onto Glue, and you can just see like how quickly he flew off the stage. Oh, he waits for some kind of defensive option, but Glutiny coming down with the aerial there. Already 45% here. Wadi just staying his ground in the corner, stalling it out with that side B. Okay, Glutiny trying to get the command grab, uh, retrieve a little bit of percent and get a positioning. But the Etzel does connect deep breathing time. It's time to stall out the side. Woo, salute the sun! Yeah, and that, that's the one thing about Wii Fit, man. You, you hit Wii Fit off stage at higher percents. It's like, did I really win? Like, of course you get your ledge trap and stuff, but they get a deep breathing going. They, maybe they charge their sun salutation a little bit. Like this, and the character heals off of both of those. You, you throw out a fully charged sun salutation, or if you deep breathing, you heal off of that. So it's not a crazy amount, but you know, it adds up. Yeah, it definitely adds up. Just like the way uh, that Wario continues to eat meter. And that's one thing that you know yeah, we didn't really can't take an account for, is that there's gonna be less projectiles for Wario to eat. Yeah, you can still eat the Whoa. volleyball, but it's really hard. And yes, like I said, that up air, broken. Yeah, really, really <laughs> good. What, just trying to slap there, Gluttony, because tried to get the two frame there. But mm, I'm Wadi mixing dog. it up. Yeah. What, are you, what are you trying to frame? Yeah. I'm just getting, stretching my arms. Yep. And Wadi coming up with the aggressive mix up there and two stalked. Two stalked. The Wii Fit two stalked. The, I mean, Looney is no slouch either. This man got third at Evo, the hardest Smash Ultimate tournament to date. So, very, very good. Um, if Wadi is able to clutch this win out, that would definitely be very, very nice for your PGR Season 2 resume. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, for sure, for sure. Especially with the. Uh, the 
the season coming to an end very soon. Right. And this is a top eight qualifier. Yes. Into winner's side. Yes. Winner's side top eight. So many people got upset on this path. Uh, Naira got upset by Ned, and then um, Wadi beat Ned. Okay. So pro this this projected was supposed to be Nairo versus Lumi. Oh, okay. So that makes a little bit more sense. But like I said, you know, this isn't the, the same Wadi that had been around earlier in the year. This man is on fire. He's oh, making yeah. a lot of moves, and he's taking a lot of names. You had it's, To even get to this point in winners, you had to take a slew of names. Yeah, Fatality being one of them. Like, I know he was really, uh, really unsure about how he was going to handle that matchup because he doesn't have much experience against Falcon. But he was like, you know what, Z-Fly? I'm just going to play like Smash 4. There you go. <laughs> like, when you in doubt, smart. <laughs> when in doubt, it. smash for it out. <laughs> okay, well, a little bit of stretching up smash, not going to connect for Wadi. But look at the way that uh, Lumi's positioning the bike. If he actually keeps the bike like just slightly in front of him, the volleyball, the sun salutations, it's not going to be a threat. Mike's just going to absorb everything. And it's crazy that you see Wadi off stage, but Glutiny's the one getting pressured, right? But the forward tilt does connect, and Glutiny starting this game number three up a little different tempo here. He's going to have to lead. I'm saying, man, the one and done strat, don't sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you do stalk him? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Guess what? Your data's gone. <laughs> yeah, true that. So right now, Glutiny doing an amazing job of adapting. We'll see. Oh, man, this is going to be big damage. Another one, yep. Oof. 49 on the board here for Glutiny on the second stock. Wadi needs some kind of answer for to take this first stock. Yeah, okay, forward air reaching, able to clip Glutiny. Sun Salutation gets a little bit of health and destroys the bike along the way. He yeah, doesn't have deep breathing up as well, so this is really big. Oh, okay. Still tacking on a lot of damage. He, might, he probably doesn't even need deep breathing to take this stock. Back right, throw. Back throw. Not enough, not even close. Maybe with the deep breathing it would have been enough. Man, all right, so Glutiny's sitting pretty at 188. Is yeah, it? and we're like 10 seconds away from Jeez. having full waft as well. Okay, finally, the up air connect. Honestly, why didn't it take too much damage? Like, 60 is a standard, like, top tier combo, right? So uh, Korean, do we have full waft on deck? Oh, yikes. All right. <laughs> it took that oh. long that he has full waft, and that's going to be the stock. From cross stage. From cross like. stage. He actually DI'd that correctly. So he didn't want to DI to the right because obviously you, don't have, you have less room to work with, right? Mm. DI's to the left. Gets hit by the Waft, still dies cross stage. <laughs> and he went to the tip of the corner as well. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that shield pressure from the, the header, almost getting it. Ooh, almost gets the reset, but Wadi with the back air to stop the pressure. Okay, again, a couple down tilts along the way, but a back air does connect for Wadi. Ooh, Stong with the volleyball and landing an up air. But an offensive landing from Gluten is going to make him back to the, bring him back to the stage. Maybe Wadi did want to do the uh, the one and done strat, man. I don't know. This week we've been kind of getting slapped. Don't sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs> I already at seventy percent. He's gonna gonna need a miracle to bring this one back here. Oh, the backer after the upbeat. Maybe it feels a little quicker. I don't know. Okay, well that's a forward throw. And we see Glutiny off stage again. He's gonna off to the bike. No, it clearly lands at the ledge. Wadi needs to connect some kind of hit. He's got the deep breathing buff activated right now, but Glutiny is the one pressuring him. That's right. I think that was just half walk that we saw. So. Uh, Wadi does need to be a little bit careful. He's at 101%. Whoa! Wadi. Oh, okay. Where's we he out here, for? bro? He's reaching. We are out here, and this is going to be a down here and a back. Oh, wow. I like the swerve coming out from Wadi. That was really, really good recovery. Yeah, especially the stall, like, being in the, the bubble zone. Man, Looney really wants his edge guard, bro. <laughs> wow, the Uppy beat it out. Usually, uh, Uppy doesn't have the greatest, oh. like, hitbox. Forward throw, good DI from Wadi. Is he actually setting up the bike for pressure? Okay. He's going to throw it off stage. I, I feel like sometimes it's risky. Oh, whoa, that like deleted him from this guy. I didn't even see him travel, bro. Like, he just dissipated. Sometimes that's just what happens, man. You know, Sakurai really wanted that launch increase. All right, so right now, Wadi just holding on to dear life. Okay, Sour good dash, dash dance with, into a uh, dash attack. Celeste Trap here tries to catch the roll, but Wadi just going for the normal getup, trying to pressure him on this platform. The full waft is online, but definitely no confirm. Gonna be, I mean, just Wadi's just at such a high percent. You don't really don't need a confirm. You oh, he ate the sun salutation and slapped him right off the side. Wow, Glutiny, very, very solid game number three. That's right. Now Wadi's thinking long and hard again. Do you go back to Rob? Do you stick it out with Wii Fit? Definitely feels like the adjustment's been made against Wii Fit. Rob might be the pick. Honestly, Rob game one didn't do that bad. Yeah, it, it was didn't. really close. And that fat man can eat anything, bro. Yeah, he can. <laughs> Must be nice. Damn. <laughs> Dude just ate a fully charged sun salutation. He eats energy, eats materials. <laughs> like, Damn. It doesn't got to be food. It would be chomping on people. It's like That's like some Kirby stuff out here. What if Wario is a Kirby character this entire time? 
Fooled me. <laughs> okay. All right, wow, we're going to stick it out with the Wii Fit, though. I mean, like, Wadi was clawing his way back at the end of that game number three. Maybe he just feels more comfortable, you know what I mean? I think it's just being able to stall out and take his time making it back to stage yeah. without having the resource of a gas tank uh, that he constantly has to think about. Yeah, that's definitely going to help, of course. Um, also, Wii Fit just has that... Uh, the deep breathing, so I feel like just being able to kill Wario a lot earlier is going to help a lot. Okay, up tilt going to get grabbed. No follow up from the forward air. Forward throw. Trying to get this pressure to up tilt, but don't convert much off of it, but he gets the reset. Oh, wow, big damage coming out from Gluttony. Yeah, but this wow. is only just making up the deficit. Again, it's what? You jump from the ledge. I got the, one of the best back airs. So fast, so powerful, and just like that, Wadi only taking 79% here. Right, a couple of fares landing from Gluttony, and now we see Wadi in a similar position that we've seen uh, quite a bit. Just kind of landing, staying on the ledge. Okay, tries to use the side B to catch the ledge jump. Gluttony, up B out of shield. Don't see that every day. <laughs> Whoa, I'm just like confused on where Wadi actually got hit. Wow. It sent him off to the left, and I just when he started on the right. Yeah. But F tilt landing for, uh, for Gluttony. Yeah, keep a, a lot of stocks that way. Yeah, keeping things really close. Yeah, the angle down F tilt, really good for uh, catching any recovery. And just really great timing from Gluttony. And wow, we see Gluttony using the upbeat out of shield more and more as this game goes on, just to deal with these pesky cross ups. Yeah, I mean, it, you got a move that comes out of shield, does hit both sides. You really should be using it. Look at this Gluttony just staying right outside of range of Wadi. There's the parry, but two hits on that. Yeah, only parrying the first hit, unfortunately, for Gluttony. Okay, Wadi just resetting the situation. Like I said, maybe he just feels more comfortable with all these different stalls, right? Off stage, on stage, or above stage. Oh, man. Ooh, but now Gluttony on the hunt. The claps. And it, I mean, it hasn't killed, but it is definitely getting its value in terms of damage. Hey, okay, just a lot of tussling going on around the center platform. The Ash attack in the opposite direction. And now we see the bike set up. Oh! Wow. Okay, cool, okay. It still had its active hitbox, too, so right, that, right, that would have right. been bad news. Yeah. But the neutral beat. No, not enough. Oh, he eats. Oh. Wow, you can eat the ball, too. <laughs> that's that's actually really good. We can try to get the charge up smash here. Just going to go bike right over yeah, the neutral Wa Wadi not falling for that charge up smash this time. Dash attack going to take the stock off the top. Okay, Wadi's got the deep breathing, but he doesn't get the sweet spot on, on that back air there. But he's still keeping the pressure up. Gluto kind of stalling out this, uh, this deep breathing. Tries to get the forward tilt, but up and over we go. Through. Okay, this is a dash back hit. Wow, these reactions on Gluttony, really good job. Yeah, oh, eats up the projectile, gives him a little bit more, takes one second off the the charge waft, and heals a little bit. That's like, that's three pluses. Yeah, and Weefit has a bunch of like unique aerials and grounded options that hit both sides, and wow, the spacing on that forward smash, the cock back, and then coming through. That move is so, so strong. Going to pretty much delete Gluttony, and now we're even stocks. Yeah, and using a smash attack, we haven't exactly seen smash attacks come out from Gluttony or from, from Wadi. Wadi. Yeah. Typically, like, you know, you see him, like, setting up for the back airs or up airs. Oh, man, that still combos at that percent. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a funny animation. Yeah, Mario. it sent him. He got hit with the, the left. Oh, the extended hitbox. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's just knowledge. Yep. That was pure knowledge. Yep. And it's just so hard to avoid that, right? It's going to catch ledge jump. It's going to catch, like, a lot of different timings on ledge roll and normal getup mm -hmm. just because.